Welcome to the Travel Scout Channel. For today's video, we will take you to Houston, Texas. We will be going to explore Houston and discover the best places to visit, things to do, what to eat, and everything that makes your stay here memorable. But before we start, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more future updates here on the Travel Scout channel. Houston, the fourth largest city in the nation, is located in the largest state by territory. So there are a ton of amazing things to see and do there for both residents and visitors. In Houston, which is a metropolis of limitless attractions and appetites, as well as being rich in culture and history, people will never run out of things to do and see. Let's begin our exploration of Houston, Texas. Space Center Houston The space agency NASA has an enormous number of ongoing exhibits and sites in Houston, including a flown SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that is more than 156 feet long. The Johnson Space Center also features a sizable artifact collection, live performances, and a NASA tram tour that brings visitors behind the scenes. The center is a sizable complex where tourists can examine a replica of Skylab, America's first space station, as well as space shuttle replicas. Buffalo Bayou Partnership Buffalo Bayou, Houston's largest natural resource, has miles of running paths and hundreds of acres of parkland. Starting in the city at Allen's Landing and moving west, one of the best ways to take in the bayou's grandeur is from the water. The Buffalo Bayou Partnership offers kayak rentals as well as boat trips, including historical and well-liked twilight excursions. National Museum of Funeral History At this morbidly curious museum, visitors can learn about everything from the enigmatic customs surrounding the burial of a pope to the recreation of Abraham Lincoln's royal funeral. Okay, so visiting this exhibit might not be the most upbeat activity, but it's still interesting. The huge 1916 Packard Cemetery bus built to eliminate burial processions is the main attraction here. It was quickly retired after the sheer weight in the rear caused it to topple on a San Francisco hill, sending bodies, both living and dead, bouncing down the street like a real-life coffin flop. It could transport a coffin, pallbearers, and 20 mourners. Chinatown. After Los Angeles, Houston has the second largest Indonesian population in the United States which authentically and delectably combines treats from all over Asia. For an Epicurean excursion, go to the thriving neighborhood in the southwest of the city. Enjoy the diverse flavors, vibrant sights, and enticing odors of the vibrant Hong Kong food market. Eat some dim sum at Ocean Palace, or a hot cup of vermicelli soup at Tantan Tan after that. The Museum of Fine Arts, Houston. Expect a ton of exhibitions and installations at one of the biggest institutions in the country. On Thursdays, you can enjoy the resident DJ while pursuing everything from Renaissance art to rare African sculptures while holding a cocktail in your hand. Gerald D. Hines Waterwall Park. Don't pass up the opportunity to see this unusual fountain and sculpture while you're in Houston. It's situated in a 2.77 acre part in Midtown Houston. One of the area's most interesting landmarks is Gerald D. Hines Waterwall Park. It is a massive multi-story sculpture with 64 foot concrete walls that allow massive amounts of water to flow down from the top. It's a fascinating sculpture to see and resembles a cascade more than anything else in an urban juggle. 
Nifa's original on navigation. Uh, due to its longevity, original Nifa's claims to serve the best Mexican cuisine in Texas since Texas was in Mexico. Not all of it is hype though, the food is fantastic here, especially when requested with the fabled off the menu toppings. Additionally, they offer some of the best cocktails in the area. Houston Museum of National Science The Houston Museum of National Science is home to a number of top-notch displays, including live relics. The majority of significant paleontology displays have dinosaur skeletons arranged in a row after another. But this museum attempted something completely different. It reenacts dinosaur encounters as they may have happened millions of years ago. Fantastic outcomes include skeletal dinosaurs that are eating, chasing, and battling. Not to be overlooked are the stunning jewelry vault and underground rainforest. The Houston is inspired mural. The well-known painting at 520 Travis Street which has served as the city's photographic standard bearer, screams inspired, trendy, tasty, funky, savvy. This gorgeously colorful picture aims to increase community pride by highlighting the city's more renowned features right here in the middle of the Market Square district. It isn't just Instagram bait, its statement is unmistakable. Houston, we don't have a problem. San Jacinto Monument and Museum The San Jacinto Monument, which towers over the Houston Ship Channel and is 15 feet taller than the Washington Monument, is the nation's tallest battle memorial. The 570-foot obelisk honors those who battled for Texas's freedom from Mexico in 1836 and is topped by a massive 220-ton Lone Star of Texas. Galveston. Less than an hour's journey separate Houston from the historic beach town of Galveston. Many people believe it to be a continuation of the metropolis itself. There is also a ton to do here. 32 miles of coastlines are followed by an atmospheric historic area filled with Victorian buildings and historic inns for seafarers. Before riding a beach cruiser cycle along the seawall at dusk, Examine the Bishop's Palace, which has a chateau-like appearance. Have you had enough tennis and tanning? Spend some time fishing and looking around Seawolf Park's famous ships like the USS Cavala and USS Stewart. So what do you think of our video? Please comment down below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more future updates here on Travel Scout Channel. Thank you for watching.